Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the AutoCAD course. This is our 10th lecture part 2 of the AutoCAD course. In this lecture, we will discuss the transparency command in the AutoCAD. Mainly, it is used for the transparency of the hatch and the gradient. We already discussed the hatch and gradient. Hatch, we actually do the objects for showing different materials in the object and gradient command is used to show the solid colors in the object. Please do not underestimate the basics of AutoCAD. We will complete our basics after three days. Then we will start 2D and 3D drawing and then lastly we will move to the structural drawings. So do not underestimate the basics. If your basics will be strong, it means you will work on the AutoCAD professionally. Now today we will discuss the transparency of hatch and gradient. Let's first I will give the hatch in this rectangle and go to hatch here pick the object. I selected object and press enter. No. Here select any pattern which you want to insert here in the rectangle. Show uh, select here color and select the scale. Let me select the scale here 100. 100 will be the scale here. So, okay, click OK. Now you will see this is hatching. We done it in this rectangle of that shape. It's, it's uh, scale is still very low, so it's not clear. You can manage your scale just by going H hatch edit command H A. This will option you will you see hatch edit click here hatch edit select the hatch here you can edit the scale let me do it 200 now then click ok now you will see it's clear visible to you so you can adjust the scale of hatch so now let me draw another rectangle here just I will draw the another now in this rectangle I will draw the gradient G R D D gradient select two color gradient any of it select the here you can must select the send behind boundary so that our your boundary will be clear to you. Here click the object then press enter then press OK. No we just entered the gradient solid fill in the rectangle and the hatch command in the gray in the rectangle now we will discuss the transparency which is our actual topic today so to this to change the transparency here i will select it go to add a hatch edit command here, no, in the bottom first, pick here the object, we already picked it. Here, this is the transparency, you can see. This transparency, you can select it by your design. Let me select it 54, press OK. No, our color of the gradient is, you can see, it's not a dense, it's light color. So this is the transparency. You can change the transparency of the object. Same as the for the hatch. Select it. Go to hatch edit command and select desired transparency. Click OK. Now you will see it's the color is dim. So this is the transparency. You can 
again adjust the transparency here hatch edit command go to select 36 click ok no it's denser than the before you can see here what is the main advantage of transparency i will show you if we draw the line here this is the object in which we have the line here and you know can see the line very clear because the transparency is low but if we want make it dense you will see hatch edit hatch edit and if you make the transparency zero click ok no you cannot see the line here it is the line you can see in the frame this is just like a frame in the frame there is a line you know you can see the line here this is a frame in which you, you line is not very visible sometime so you have to make the your transparency low to make it clear so this is the actually purpose of using the transparency here you can also select here dot send back send to back your color will be back and your line will be in the front choose this color click ok no line is visible and you do not change the transparency also so this is also advantage to use the send to back it's a very good option to show the frame in the gradient or hatch command 